Welcome to Woodworks. Today we'll be building a simple footstool. Uh, there's going to be a couple of compound miters, but I don't want to scare anyone. It is very, very simple. I've gone ahead and milled up the parts so we can cut our angles and assemble this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four legs at a five degree by five degree cut and then make another small piece as a rail to go up underneath. This will fasten the legs to the footstool top. Here's the stock I need for my legs. There is no set size on this, it's whatever you're comfortable with. This one here happens to be an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter square. Square is really important because it'll make a lot of sense for your cuts. Next I have my small rail that will go underneath and I'll be cutting those on some angles and then my top. All I have to do is size this and we'll be ready to go. So I'm over here at my compound miter saw. I'm gonna set up five degrees on this axis call it your x-axis, and then I'm going to go five degrees on my y as well. It's important to make sure that your cuts are away from you. Um, both of them, you can't have one going one way and one the other, it just won't work out. So I'll go ahead and make my first cut. Now I'm going to measure over seven inches. Mark which side I want to cut on, very importantly. I will set this up with a stop so that all my cuts will be the same. So this is why your angles are important. We've gone five degrees, two directions, so that when you put your top on here, all of your weight and pressure will be going to the inside of the step stool, which will resist tipping over. So while I still have my five degree angle set up, I'm gonna be cutting the rails underneath. I'm gonna cut them to 11 and a half inches. The beauty of this is you've got a lot of room to play. We're going to inset the legs from the underneath of the stool. So if it's not exactly 11 and a half inches, don't worry, it'll still work. It's important to keep your measurements consistent, so because I have an angle here, I'll be cutting from long to long. And all I have to do actually is just flip that over, make my mark, and I'll maintain my angle so I don't have to change anything. Now that I've got all my angles cut, I'm gonna set the saw back to zero, just like that, and I will cut my top to length. I'm just gonna cut it down to 16 inches. It's a nice, comfortable step. So we've got our pieces to length. Now we're just gonna center them on here and screw them down. We're gonna pre-drill the holes so that things don't move around for you and you get them a tighter fit. All I'm doing is I'm gonna flush one side up, take the difference, which is four and a half, divide it by two and that's where these will go. And you can always set it in about a half an inch from the outside edge. Half an inch is always pretty good. The wider you keep your legs, the more stabil stability you will have. So it'll go on right like that. We'll just pre-drill two holes and screw it in. So I'm using whatever I have around the house. I have some leftover deck screws. These small ones will work just fine for this. I'll have to move into a bigger one when I attach the legs. Okay, now that I have those fastened, I can go ahead and assemble my legs and then attach them to this as well. So I've got my bottom rails on. What I want to do next is just place my legs on so I can get a final measurement in between the two. Again, it's a variable, so if it doesn't cut exactly the way you want, just adjust it, it'll all be fine. I'm gonna go one inch down on my leg. I'll just measure that one inch. I'll put that back up. 
I'll measure an inch down on this one as well. Like I said, an inch is just a, a variable. It could be seven eighths, it could be three quarters, it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll just take a measurement in between and then that will be my long to long on the chop saw. So I've got my rails cut for the legs. All I'm gonna do, I've already got my marks, so I'm gonna set them apart. Just bring this in to my mark, one over there, and I'm gonna put a mark in the middle on each end so I know where to pre-drill. Because this can get a little difficult holding these together, pre-drilling will really help. So next I'm going to go to my tin of miscellaneous screws that I have kicking around. I always like to reuse things as much as possible. And these two will work nicely. And we can go ahead and screw these together. Let's line up our marks again. Before you put your second leg on, just take another measurement and just make sure that you're still on track. Now that we've got everything all cut, pre-drilled, all I'm going to do is clamp it down and screw it together. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is before you flip this over is just break the edges. Just a couple quick passes. And there you have it. So we're gonna finish the stool top off with a chamfer. It's basically just a 45 degree cut. It's a bearing that runs along the edge. So you can adjust it and set it. And I'm just gonna cut it all the way around and we'll be done. A little bit of sandpaper just to finish it off. And there you go.